Forgot the microphone button. All right, I think we are rolling for our live stream, our day one encounters with the new Pokemon TCG Online uh, expansion for Sword and Shield, the Battle Styles. I'm curious to see what all this will introduce to the game. Hello to Dominic and Sailor Pika in the chat, and I noticed at the top of the chat it uh, has informed us that Unknown Spike has what would you call it? Uh, re redone that's the very basic term but you know let's say rejoined re-sponsored our channel here so thank you unknown spike i realized when i saw that i don't know what happened at the start of this month i completely glossed over sending out the monthly code cards for our channel sponsors but i did send sailor pika and unknown spike the email with uh the po uh, pokemon tcg online codes as part of the sponsorship little bonus we have on here and hopefully you got those and got some pretty cool cards. Some of the ones I randomly pulled out of our collection, my supplies there. I don't know what you get out of them. A bunch of different uh, like collection pin boxes and this and that. So hopefully you got some pretty cool stuff. All right, now, today, as I say, is, as you see here, Sword and Shield Battle Styles. They say this is gonna feature a new kind of gameplay mechanic. And I looked into it beforehand doesn't really seem that different. Essentially, <coughs> excuse me, it, uh, how would you put this? It gives a new kind of aspect to the Pokemon. There is, I believe, Rapid Strike and Single Strike, I think they're called, where Single Strike is designed around, you know, building up a powerhouse move, doing, like, let's just say, throw a number out there, like 300 damage in one hit, or maybe, no, let's just say that, 300 damage in one hit. So, the idea there is, I believe, you power up to deal this much damage. <coughs> Excuse me again. But the Rapid Strike, I think, is like... Let's say it might let you hit, say, all of the opposing team. Like, you're rapidly, like, punching the, the active, the ones on the bench. Or maybe it's like... You power up a strong move quicker, I think. Like, we'll get into it eventually. I'm sure we'll uh, see some pretty cool stuff from these new cards. If I happen to pull them, because this is our day one coverage of a new expansion so what I do here I take a bunch of my tokens as you see here uh, 57 wait before I get into this I'm gonna try something you can see for yourself I got a lot of tokens up there so I am once again going to give these widgety things a try that let people or let you know everybody know when a new person has uh, subscribed sponsored super chatted what have you it said there was an update available for them and I hope it's an update that lets us see actual subscribers see so there we go a new subscriber right then as I turned on the uh, the widget I'm gonna keep an eye on that if possible to see are we getting actual real subscribers if we are hello to everybody who is subscribing 
but we've had times where I keep seeing these subscription updates, uh, notifications, at the end of the stream. We've only really gotten three new ones, so I have a hunch these aren't actually real subscribers, because we've seen this happen before. There's like four. Is that four or five by now? Now, I might leave this active for this whole stream, because I wonder if this is sort of like, call it a backlog, that maybe we haven't seen. Like, OMG, it's Sark. Pretty sure Sark is already a subscriber. This might just be that it has to go through a whole list that it hasn't shown yet? Maybe? I wonder if there'd be a way to, like, clear out the cache or cache or whatever. But anyway, hello to Retro Jordan for our, or, you know, two hour Sword and Shield Battle Styles live stream. <coughs> Excuse me, so, if you're familiar at all with, actually, well, let's say, if you're not familiar with what a Pokemon pre release tournament is all about, whenever a new expansion comes out for the TCG, certain locations can have a pre release tournament where players can come in up to two weeks before the new expansion goes for sale. And it goes on sale today, I believe. So. At these events, you get a special sealed box of four booster packs, a pre-built evolution deck, and you build a 40-card deck with what you get out of these boosters and that uh, that collection, or the uh, pre-built deck. Then you have a little tournament with each other. There's no real you know prizes on the line. It's just a matter of uh, playing the game for fun, and I guess just the bragging rights if you win. So the idea being, you get a bunch of random cards to start off this new set with. So similar to that, what I do on these... Uh, I guess launch days, I will spend my tokens and get 10 of the new expansion booster packs, getting me, you know, 10 cards per pack. That's 100 cards to work with and try to build a deck as well as I can with what we're given from those random booster packs. And just see how well does the uh, the randomness fare on the battlefield. So we'll get into that in just a little bit. Hello to Unknown Spike and Sailor Pika welcoming everybody as well. I'll say, off, say right off the top of the bat though, if you are watching this, either you're here with us in the chat or this is post-stream, you're watching the uh, replay, feel free if you enjoy this kind of video to click the like button down below. You can also share this out with people through social media, see if we can get more people coming and checking some of these stuff out here on our channel. You're also welcome to subscribe if you're not currently subscribed, if you like content such as this and other stuff on the channel. And you can also join as a channel sponsor to uh, help support my adventures through the various, uh, what do you call it? worlds, I guess, of Pokemon. Would you call Trading Card Online a world? Maybe. And also, in addition to the perks that you see listed if you hit the Join button, you can see what's available for the two different tiers. I also, as long as supplies last, offer up some Pokemon TCG Online code cards, or codes, I guess. I can't send the cards through email. But I email out codes every month. One to uh, the Lab Rats, and two to the Lab Aids. Although, this month here, since I was really late, I sent out, uh, what was it? I sent out an extra one to make up for the fact that we're already halfway into the month and I completely got sidetracked at the start. So, OMG, it's Sark. Uh, I need to get an email address from you. I don't believe I have one. Just uh, go to my About tab on the uh, uh, channel here. Just go to my channel, go to the About tab. Uh, send me an email with your email address where to send some codes to, because you've been a, a channel sponsor for quite a while, but I don't think I've ever managed to get you any of the monthly code cards, and I would like to get caught up on that if I can. So, if you're able to, just shoot me a quick email at some point, either during or at the end of the stream. Alright, without any further ado, I think we should go take a look at the shop. And don't mind me, if I don't know if you can tell on the webcam or not, I'm all slightly st uh, stubbly here. I didn't even take the time to shave today. I just want to jump right in and get this done. I was working on updating the layout. I think the last time we had a new expansion, I didn't even take the time to change the layout, but I did this time. So we're all caught up. All fancy. And now I gotta feed my Blissey in Pokemon Go. But before I take a look at any of the new uh, cards in the set, I want to see what we happen to get randomly out of our boosters. So are there any uh, new theme decks? Not just yet, doesn't look like. I think the Charizard and the, uh, what do you call it again? Not Chewtle, Dredna. I believe they were from the uh, previous expansion. Okay, so, the booster packs are right here. This is the newest set, as they say. One sec, I just gotta feed my Blissey real quick. So, choose your battle style wisely. Be a Titan full of power, or strike with impossible speed. It all depends on your martial mastery. One sec, one more berry for my Blissey. 
Uh, channel the power of Pokemon V, like Mimikyu V, Tyranitar V, Empoleon V, and more. Wouldn't it be cool if we get the Empoleon V? Because that's what everyone's talking about. It has a new uh, ability, I think. Or maybe it's an attack, but it references rule box Pokemon. And that means anything with a... What does it say? A Pokemon V rule? Pokemon GX rule? Anything that has, like, rule in the little text box, or around the text box, it is referring to that. So, it can, like, possibly shut down certain things. I think it's only, it disables basic Pokemon with a rule box, shutting down their abilities or something. But we'll find out when we do pull... Oh, look at this! You can look at these cards! When we do pull that Empoleon V. Uh, you'll also find a handful of impressive Pokemon VMAX, including Gigantamax, Urshifu, in both Single Strike and Rapid Strike styles. Unleash epic smash-ups with the Sword and Shield Battle Styles expansion. So, we can preview possible cards, we can see rarity odds. Let's just see what this says. Okay, it just tells you here. So you get uh, five commons, three uncommon, one basic energy, one parallel... It's called parallel foil? I thought they were always called reverse foil. Now we know. And you get one rare or super rare per pack. Of course, the parallel foil can be a rare or I think a super rare? Maybe not. But I know it can be a rare for sure. So I can preview possible cards, but we're gonna wait. You don't want to see that. Wait a minute, this is lying. It says each booster pack contains 10 additional game cards. Count those numbers up. 5 plus 3 is 8, plus 1, 2, 3 is 3 more, that's 11. <gasps> They're not counting the basic energy, of course. But that could be rare, like parallel foil, can they? I hope so. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, anyway, let's not waste any more time. 200 tokens per pack. We're going to spend 2,000, get 10 of these new boosters. Confirm. Alright, let's go to our collection. Now, in the chat, I want to hear chance of... Do I want to say arugula again? I mean, we know how to spell that. I want to hear arugula, arugula, arugula. Three arugulas to give me good luck on this. Why? Why is this listed here that it's... I'm listing newest to oldest. This is not the newest set. This is. All right, let's get this nice and ce not centered up. Clearly, it doesn't center. Ah, well, I ain't got OCD. If I did, that might bother me, but not so much. All right, without wasting more time, more of your attention span, let's get these packs opened up. Arugula, 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 says Sailor Pika. Do you think we'll have to make use of the uh, the what is it, the cuff of tapeness in this pack? We might. So that's the idea. Before I open this. I will open up like all these packs. Generally, I want to use as many new Pokemon as I can, and as many new, let's say, supporters, some you know, trainer cards, whatever. But I will have to fill out the deck with previous trainer cards because usually you don't get enough in ten packs for a full deck. But we'll see what we get to start with. Their first of ten packs being opened up, and I, I've, I like to take a look at all the new cards. I have no clue what we're getting just yet. Only one rare in this one, but okay. So we have a Pawnyard with Swords Dance. This Pokemon Slash Attack does 70 more damage next turn. Slash, doing a basic 10. We've got Blip Bug for a Stampede for 10. We have Rapid Strike. See, they have in the top right corner, Rapid Strike. There's certain cards that will let you search your deck, I believe, for either Rapid Strike or Single Strike. So, Shanks would be one of those Rapid Strike Pokemon. Rear Kick does 20 for one energy. We have Esper, Focused Wish, does 20 plus. If you flip heads, 20 more. We have Roly Coley, 30 damage on Reckless Charge, hitting itself for 10. We have a Single Strike, Bruno. Good old Cal... or I was like Calosian, Cantonian, and Jotonian. It's uh, Elite Four member. Shuffle your hand into your deck, then draw four cards. If any of your Pokemon were knocked out during your opponent's last turn, draw seven instead. Okay. We've got Golbat, Dark Type, which is cool. Dark Type cards now represent Poison Pokemon. Discrete Draw. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve your Zubat, you may draw two cards. Air Slash does 50. Discard an energy from a gold bat. Next, we have Single Strike Style Mustard. You can play this card only when it's the last card in your hand. Search your deck for a Single Strike Pokemon and put it onto your bench, and then shuffle your deck. If you search your deck in this way, draw five cards. As they said on Pokemon Go, or sorry, Pokemon.com, this does not specify a single strike basic Pokemon. If you have a, like, say, I don't know if Tyranitar uh, is a single strike, but if it is, you can put a Tyranitar on your bench using this. That might maybe come in handy if we get lucky with some more card pulls. Remoraid is our parallel foil. What does it 
holding up on its water jet. That's like rocks and sticks. That's some talent. Rapid Strike Pokemon with Water Gun for 10, Sharp Fin for 20. Our rare card of the first booster pack of the event, the release day stream, is going to be Lorentis. We've got Leaf Drain for 30, Solar Cutter for 70. Okay, Leaf Drain healing 30 for itself. So, our first pack, not crazy, but it is our just starting path, you know, starting point down the path of success in the Battle Styles expansion. Let's see what else we can get. How many Pokemon V do you think we'll see today? I want to venture, a, like, I want to say three. Hopefully we're that lucky. All right, we have Galarian Mr. Mime, pound for 10, find it. it. says, search your deck for an item card. It's your your nose here. And put it into your hand, then shuffle your deck. Silicobra doing 10 with Tail Whap, 60 with Mud Shot. Rapid Strike Main Foo, double stab doing 30 times. Point flips for heads. We've got Cherubi, uh, Leafage for 10. We have Pachirisu, find a friend. Search your deck for a Pokemon, reveal it, put it into your hand, and then gnaw for 30. Hello to Owl Assassin, what's up? Not too much yet. We're just opening up some uh, boosters of the new, what is it, uh, Battle Styles expansion for Pokemon TCG Online. Hoping to get some cool stuff for a day one deck. Fan of Waves, a Rapid Strike card. Put a special energy attached to one of your opponent's Pokemon on the bottom of their deck. Nice. Single Strike Pig Knight, Ram for 30, Combustion for 90. Carcoal with a Tackle for 50. And Wild Tackle, four energies for 100 damage, hitting itself for 10. That's a lot of damage, but it is basically 25 damage per energy card, so that might not be bad. We've got a Parallel Foil Murkrow. Scout does uh, reveal the opponent's hand for you. Peck does 20. Owl is asking, is this a rerun? Absolutely not, because I'm responding to you in time. So no, this is actually live right now. And I can prove that by saying... No, I can't prove that by saying... I was going to say, I can prove it by saying, everyone chant Arugula. Because, I mean, if this was pre-recorded, you could still react in that sense but anyways we are live at the moment we got ourselves a licka licky uh what is that first attack so is it supposed to be like a select but it's select your opponent chooses to discard the top three cards of their deck or discard three cards from their hand and pitch does a hundred the opponent switching their active pokemon with a benched pokemon now with that select i wonder if if they only had one card in their hand, could they then opt the discard from hand thing and only lose one? Maybe. Uh, you actually cannot get a pack from me, and the reason is all these packs I've got here are trade locked. I had to spend my tokens to get them, but if you have tokens, you can easily get some on the shop. I'll show you that in just a little bit. Actually, I'll show you quick. Go here to the uh, shopping cart icon, click over on the booster packs, and this is selected already. So hit redeem. For 200 tokens, you can get a Battle Styles Booster Pack. And yes, thank you for subscribing. I completely glossed over that, unfortunately. I apologize. But yeah, just you can get your uh, packs that way. Anything you get through the tokens will be trade locked, unfortunately. But at least you still get the cards to play with. And you can get tokens simply by getting like uh, your login bonus every day. You can do some battles in the versus ladder. Just getting you know a bunch of tokens from doing that. Tokens are not that hard to get in this game, which is good. And you don't have coins either. Well, you can get some. I don't know if you've already gone through, like, uh, tutorial, anything like that. Trainer challenge, you can get some tokens from. So just try to run through all of the, you know, let's call it in-game CPU stuff. You can get some stuff from there. But your best bet would be go to Versus. And I'll go there later on, and I'll show you what that's all about. But essentially, just go to your Versus, just play some battles. I would say try theme decks, if you have any theme decks to work with. You do get some basic ones to start off when you first get this game. So, you can get yourself a lot of tokens really quickly. That's how I get most of my stuff, too. Alright, our third pack giving us some new stuff. And you are welcome, Owl Assassin. Hopefully, I've given you some helpful tips and tricks. So, Slash from Glagar doing 30. Hone Edge, good old Caliburn, with Ambush for 10. Flip a coin of heads, 30 more. We've got Scatter Bug, Surprise Attack doing 30, unless you flip a Tails. Hound Hour Single Strike. We have 20 damage from Bite. Frillish can recover. Discard one energy from this Pokemon to heal all damage from it. What's your HP? 80. And Rain Splash does a whopping 10. Escape Rope is back, everybody. I'm not sure if it was out of the standard format or not, but it is now here once again. 
both players swapping their active Pokemon with one of their benched of their choosing, the opponent switching first. We've got a Rapid Strike Carnivine. Bug Bite does 30, and the opposing Pokemon can't retreat next turn. Triple Whip, 60 times, 3 coins. So every heads gets you 60 damage. We got a Fero with Drill Peck. So we got two rares in this pack. I'm gonna say this is gonna give us one of the, I hope, three Pokemon V that we get today. Not quite, but this is a Single Strike Embor. What can this do? Fighting Fury Stance, your Single Strike Pokemon's attacks do 30 more damage to the opposing active Pokemon. Heat Crash does a powerful 130, and its own Fighting Fury Stance ability would power its attack up too. All right, so that'd be basically 160. And the, uh, the rare, I guess, of the pack, or super rare, is a clay doll. We were up here with Embor. We're down here with clay doll. Uh, power split. Attach psychic energy cards from your discard pile to your Pokemon in any way you like until your Pokemon and your opponent's Pokemon have the same total amount of energy attached. That could be powerful. And Psy Shot does 100 damage. Okay, next up we've got pack number four. Yeah, pack number four we're opening up right now. So, no Pokemon V from that just yet. I forgot to mention, too, if anybody out there does want to do some battles in a little bit once I assemble this deck, my player name is Dotman64. I should put that on this layout, shouldn't I? Now that I think about it. Dotman64. Just search for me in the, uh, the friend search thingy and send me a friend request. Okay, we got the t uh, Tepig, so I can get the Embor eventually in play. Uh, single Strike does Ram for 20, Combustion for 50... The Murkrow is here once again, not Parallel Foil this time. Cubone can beat for 10 or Headbutt for 30. Scatterbug here again, I believe. <coughs> ah, I believe, excuse me. Tool Jammer. This is a tool to attach to a Pokemon. As long as, this, as long as the Pokemon this card is attached to is active, Pokemon tools attached to the opponent's Pokemon have no effect, except for Tool Jammer. Interesting. Perugly has a Catterday attack. Draw three cards. If you do, it falls asleep. Claw Slash is a powerful 120. We've got Durant. Vice Grip for 20 and Devour. For each of your Durant in play, discard the top card of the opposing deck. That could be up to four per turn. Pig Knight, we got the uh, parallel foil for this one now, so there's two Pig Knight. Okay, our first Pokemon V is going to be not a V at all. Electivire, or Tumbling Attack, doing 60 plus, 30 more if you flip a heads. Lightning Slam is 180, but this Pokemon can't Lightning Slam next turn. All right, we are. Get out of here. We are almost halfway through. Only one Pokemon, no, not even any one Pokemon D yet. We only have, uh, we have a Embor Single Strike. That could possibly come into play. I need some more Tepig, though. Give me a few more Tepig. Those aren't Tepig. But we could have other useful stuff. New cards are Spoink with Headbutt Bounce for 10, Power Jump for 30. A Single Strike Mawile, Powerful Vice, does 20. And Coin Flip the Heads paralyzes the target. Piercing Strike is 100, not affected by weakness or resistance or any effects on the opposing Pokemon. Cacnea does zzz for 10, beat for 20. Energy Recycler, this one's back as well. Shuffle 5, up to 5 basic energy from the discard pile to your deck. We have Bisharp, Slash for 30, and Steel Slice, 90 plus. If the opposing active Pokemon is a metal Pokemon, this does 90 more. That's surprising. You know, you don't have like metal versus metal being super effective kind of thing, but all right. Our parallel foil is gonna be a Vivillion. Vital Powder, heal all damage from two of your bench Pokemon. Gust does 90, so I'm not gonna say it's Pokemon V. We're gonna see like just a basic rare or something like that. Yeah, we got Galarian Slowbro, Splattering Poison, uh, poisons both active Pokemon, and an Unhinged Hammer, 100 plus. If this Pokemon is affected by a special condition, the attack does 120 more damage. Poison itself with Splattering Poison. Next turn, you can hit for like 220. That's not bad at all. Of course, you probably want to have a way to, say, poison it from the bench, like your own bench, so you can immediately start using the Unhinged Hammer. We might make that work. If we can find Galarian Slowpoke, though, to be able to get that into play. All right, we, don't, we haven't seen a lot of the, you know, bigger Single Strike and Rapid Strike Pokemon yet, though. We've got a Bronzor, Ram for 30, Salandit, Call Sign for uh, Fire Energy. Search your deck for a Pokemon and reveal it, put it into your hand. Okay. we got the Hangry More Pico. How much more do you want to eat? Look at those apples. Gather food. Put an item card from your discard pile into your hand. Good. And Hangry Tackle, 20 plus. 
If you have no cards in your hand, this does 90 more. We've got another car, Cole. We've got our friend, Karina. Po <coughs> Excuse me, viewers of the Pokemon X playthrough know why I like seeing her. Rapid Strike says draw cards until you have six in hand. Gligar does a slash for 30. That's the parallel foil. Can we see one Pokemon V? I want one Pokemon V. So Lazzle can perplex to confuse and derisive. Derisive? Deri I don't know. Roasting 90 times. This attack does 90 damage for each special condition affecting your opponent's active Pokemon. Again, if we can poison from the bench, that is good. <laughs> Alright, we are well into the second half now. That's That was our sixth pack, our seventh one coming up. Hello to Memes47. Welcome to our live stream for some Sword and Shield Battle Styles Day 1 coverage where I try to get some really cool cards to make use of. If we don't get the cool cards, at least we'll make something, you know, try to make use of what we do get. What is the Urn of Vitality? Is this the Pot of Greed? Shuffle up to two single strike energy cards from your discard pile into your deck. So, yeah, the, we haven't seen them, but I believe there are some special energies that are either single strike or rapid strike. So this lets you bring them, and there's, like, basically there'd be special energies, and this lets you bring them back. Sailor Pika has opened 12 battle strikes, or uh, battle styles packs, and didn't get any Vs or Vmax. I think I might have that same luck. We got Bufalod, Sap Sipper ability, doing 60 more damage by this attack to uh, Grass Pokemon. Head Charge does 120, but hurts itself for 30. We've got the Bruxish that can bite for 20 or Surf for 110. And that's not bad for only three energy. That is like what, nearly 40 damage per energy card. All right, the Parallel Foil, another Salazzle, okay, and the rare of this booster pack is a rapid strike Luxray. So Electro Step says the attack does 40 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon, then switch this Pokemon with one of your benched. Scar Strikes is 100 plus. If the active Pokemon has any damage already on it, this does 100 more. So any way to put damage from your bench on something active, you can then hit it for 200 with this. That would be good. If we can find anything that can, like, say, poison from the bench. <laughs> All right, we've got... That meme says, get the Pog Champ cards. Uh, you opened four and got one full art trainer. That's not bad. Like, anything that's better than just your basic rares is good to get out of... Even, like, that small number of packs, too. Okay, so I think this is our seventh or eighth pack we're opening now. I've lost track already. But we've got a Balt toy that can self-destruct for 60, but it does do 60 to itself, which is a knockout on its own HP. Electabuzz's Haymaker does 30, but next turn they can't use Haymaker. What is this? Rapid Strike, Scroll of Swirls, it's a tool. The Rapid Strike Pokemon that has this card attached can use the, this attack. The Matchless Maelstrom. The, this attack does 30 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. That's what I'm talking about. This can hit everything for 30. You do still need to have the Fighting and Double Colorless to uh, power that, but that will be useful and fun to try out. Okay, Seedra does Water Gun for 40 with only one energy. Nice. We have the Camping Gear. Search your deck for a card and put it into your hand. Then shuffle the deck and then your turn ends. Let's see. I hate the things that always end your turn early. Oh, look at this! Single Strike Scroll of Scorn. Okay, so we got the Rapid Strike and the Single Strike tools. So this one with Fighting Energy Furious Anger does 10. Plus 10 more damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. Okay, that could be useful as well. Our rare is going to give us a Bolt Ton. Corner does 30. The opponent po or opposing Pokemon can't retreat next turn. Defiant Spark doing 130. And if this Pokemon has any damage on it, it can be used for only one Lightning Energy. Okay. Nice. Uh, two more packs to open up. I don't think we're going to hit those three Pokemon V. But, you know, sometimes you don't want to get the Pokemon Vs. It makes the game too easy. You want to try to work with the uh, the lesser Pokemon, see what you can get. I've got a special energy down there. I like it. Rapid Strike Remoraid, the uh, not parallel. Fomantis, Continuous Slash is 20. Flip a coin until you get Tails. Well, it's 20 for each heads. It was a single strike style mustard meme set that got the uh, full art trainer. Nice. We got the Scalarian Slowpoke. Tantalizing. Switch, or flip a coin. If heads, switch one of the opposing bench Pokemon with their active. You've got the single strike Mankey. Focus Fist does 50, but if you flip tails, they ain't doing nothing. Horsey for, uh, for four smokescreen. Smokescreen for 10 damage. 
during the opponent's next turn, they got to flip ahead to be able to attack. Otherwise, their attack fails. The single strike energy, it's uh, fighting energy. This card can only be attached to a single strike Pokemon. If this card is attached to anything other than single strike, discard it. As long as this card is attached to a Pokemon, it provides fighting and darkness energy, but only one unit at a time. And the attacks of the Pokemon this card is attached to do 20 more damage to the opposing active Pokemon. Alola to Dazzling Shell, welcome to our live stream for some coverage of the Battle Styles expansion as we find our first Pokemon V of the day! It is actually. Alright, we got us a Corviknight V. What can you do, my friend? Clutch, uh, uh, metal type Pokemon. Clutch does 30. The opposing Pokemon can't retreat. Next turn, Sky Hurricane, a powerful 190, but next turn you cannot use Sky Hurricane. Okay, so it is a basic, of course. We're going to probably toss that into the deck and try to make use of it. Because we've only got one more booster to open up. <laughs> Can we get another Pokemon V just to give us some more options? I mean, if not, we'll have to make do with what I got. But let's find out. We've got a lot of repeats. A lot of repeats. Okay, we got a uh, parallel rare, which is the Clay Doll. And we have... The last Pokemon V. It's going to be a Corviknight uh, V Max, isn't it? Not even close. We've got Marowak. Battle Armor says it takes 30 less damage from attacks. Bone Meringue does 90 damage per two coin flips for heads each. Okay. So, we got just the one Pokemon V to work with today. Let's go to our deck manager and see if we can assemble something with what we got. Uh, create a new deck. We're gonna go standard. I don't like to go for the uh, the deck wizard. It's like you know, I kind of want to choose what's going into my deck. Okay, so wait, I'm not gonna go here just yet. I'm gonna go to the collection. I want to just kind of scroll through and see what all we got. Let's go with a uh, tile, I guess. And we're gonna filter just our battle styles cards. Uh, Dazzling Shell says Corviknight is so cool. You use it for both of your Sword and Shield teams. And I, I myself, of course, have not played Pokemon Sword or Shield just yet, so I haven't used anything on any teams. <laughs> Meme says, the entire packs are garbage. Well, we'll work with what the game gave us. Sometimes you can find some really, like, hidden gems if you think abilities and such, and pull off some sneaky maneuvers. So, if anything we don't have, like, an evolution line for, if it's not a basic, I might say, eh. So, for example, Cacnea, Cherubi... Not really that interested there. Carnivine could be something. It is, you know, a basic, so that could be... Uh, Durant. Well, Durant's not going to be that great, though, because we're only doing ten, uh, 20 damage with Vice Grip. Devour says for each of your Durant in play, which would only be one, because we have just the one, we discard one card. So, I don't think we'll be using you. The Scatterbug, we don't have a Spupa, so this is out. Actually, you know what? I'm going back to the deck manager, just so we can see everything as we put it in. I definitely want to try using that Corviknight, though, so it's going to go with some Steel-type. Okay, let's filter back to the battle styles. Do we have any uh, favorites in the chat that you guys would like to see me try out in the uh, deck? So we have Fomantis and Lorantis. Just for the sake of keeping track of what we have evolution-wise, we're going to put them in. I do... Uh, why do we get so many Pig Knight but only one Tepig? No! So we're gonna put Tepig, we're gonna put... I'm gonna put one of the uh, Pig Knight in, because we only have one Embor, so... Let's start with that. Salandit, Salazzle. Well, these are not bad. We got three Salandit. And two Salazzle. You're gonna see me overload the amount of Pokemon in the deck, but this is just for starters. Just to uh, see what we have for options. We got Remory, no Octillery, so not too much in the water line. Although Bruxish with three energy would do a decent 110. That might be something to consider, but I'll keep it. No, I'll drop them in just for the time being. So we don't have a Luxio, we cannot make use of Luxray. I could try Electabuzz, Electivire. But I'm not a fan. In fact, I'm going to take these out. I'm not a fan of only having one basic, then one evolution, because it's really situational. You're going to get both of those when you need them. And we don't have a Yamper, so we can't even use the Boltund. So Slowpoke, only one of those, only one Galarian Slowbro. 
And let's see, we've got two Cubo and one Marowak, so that kind of suits my preferences. We've got Glagar and Oglai score. Two Roly Coley and two Carcol. That could be a thing to come back to. How do we not get any Zubat? Zubat are so common, and they never showed up in this. Okay, we've got Houndour, more Pico. So if we do go with Steel type, I guess we'll try to power up on or load up on some of these. We got the Mawile, a couple of Pawniar to go with our Bisharp. Hone Edge, no other evolution or Pokemon in that evolutionary line. There's the Corbin Knight. Normal types could be a good thing here. Although we don't have a Spearow, we don't have a Lickitung, we don't have a Glamiao. <laughs> wow! Okay, a couple of Buffalon though to round out. So 20 Pokemon, way too much. We gotta trim that back a little bit. <coughs> Hey, excuse me. So I think it's looking like let's go with fire and steel. That might be the best. I don't want to overload too many different Pokemon types. Unless... No, you take water energy. And the Cubo and Marowak both need at least a fighting energy. Although... I kind of want to try to make use of that energy we got, the special energy. Dazzling Shell says, You don't like using attacks on Pokemon cards requiring coin flips because your luck can be hit or miss. Yeah, I can agree with that. I have the same, you know, random bad luck sometimes. Sometimes it does happen that you get the heads when you need it, though. I love attacks that actually say, you know, do 80 damage, then flip a coin. If heads, do 30 more. If tails, the opposing Pokemon is confused. Because in a case like that, no matter what you flip, you're still getting something accomplished. Some sort of beneficial effect. Okay, I think... I could probably try to play around with uh, five, uh, three different kinds of energy, I guess. Is there anything we can make use of for dark? Because I could try the slow bro, because I, I want to try to make use of that. I forget what the name of the uh, energy was, but that single strike, fighting or darkness. Hmm. I could put in the slow poke and slow bro, for example. That might be the only real kind of thing. What do you think, more Pico? Would you be useful? The other thing is, too, those scrolls. Do we have? Well, we have uh, single strike Embor. Can we try out a rapid strike Pokemon of some sort? Bear with me as I do a little bit of random thinking here. There's a rapid strike Carnivine. You take a Grass Energy. Let's look at all our rapid strikes. I'm sure I can probably filter for them. So there's Rapid Strike Remoraid, but I mean, still, it's only a Remoraid. If only we could get Luxray. Now, we do have that Mustard Dude who can put in a single strike right to your bench. You don't need to evolve into it. So that, that's basically how I'm kind of banking on getting Embor into play. There's too many more rapid strikes here. We got rapid strike main foo. Let's go with that, of course. And is that all for the rapid strikers? I guess it is. So, do I want to add Carnivine and take someone else out? Just for the sake of playing around a bit. I wonder if single strike would be good. Let's actually take a moment here. Go to the energy. It's always so hard to find what you're looking for with the energy. Let's go with special. And actually, let's go with filtering into just the battle styles. I believe we have just the one single strike energy. So technically, this can be attached to any Pokemon. It doesn't need to be a fighting or dark. It just provides fighting or dark energy. And it does 20 extra damage. So that applies to any single strike Pokemon. Let's toss that in there. Uh, the majority of our Pokemon seem to be fighting. Fighting and steel. I'm going to put a couple, uh, or sorry, fire and steel. Put a couple fighting in there just to help out Marowak. Okay, let's clear the filters. Reset. Did I. Reset. Apply. Okay. So let's go with another, say, four fighting. 
Let's go with six steel and six fire. Now let's go with five fire, five steel, and only three fighting. A nice round number of 13 energy. You know, that's going to be fine. It's probably too much, but... We'll start or go there for starters and see how it plays out. Okay, our newest card. We got Bruno. I might as well grab him. The camping gear. I don't like ending the turn. It might actually come in handy if I don't have enough energy to fight that turn anyway. Let's just put it in there. Energy recycler might be useful. Escape rope. I'm going to basically put all the stuff that we have in here. Put a special energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. No, no, from one of your po uh, opponent's any Pokemon. Bottom of the deck, might as well. Karina's focus. Put her in. Okay, so this is attached to a Rapid Strike Pokemon. I'm going to toss it in just for now. I'm going to double check to see if we have Rapid Strike in the deck. We know we've got the Single Strike. Doing 10 more damage for each damage counter that the uh, that Pokemon has. So there's Mustard. I can only play him when he's the last card in hand. That'll be tricky. Switch the deck for a single strike Pokemon and put it onto the bench. And if you do, draw five cards. Pool Jammer I'll toss in there. Essentially, any trainer cards I can make use of, I will do so. Shuffle up to two single strike energy cards from your discard pile into your deck. That's not going in because I don't have any single strike energy cards. And now, let's get some more basic staples for a deck. Well, first go back and see, are there single strikers in here? The, uh, no, they're single. Is there any rapid strikers, I should say? No. So for now, I guess... Uh, I kind of want to try something, and I kind of want to bring Carnivine in. It would be crazy if Carnivine can do... 30 damage to everything, because, like, so... It's a Rapid Strike Pokemon. If it has the scroll attached for a Fighting and two Colorless, I can do 30 to the entire opposing team. We would do extra damage, I believe, with the Single Strike Energy. And it would also provide the Fighting Energy needed for Matchless Maelstrom. So if we can get that, a Grass Energy, and another Energy of any sort, that would be useful. What is your other attack, though, Carnivine? I want to probably throw you some Grass Energy in case. Well, you know what? Triple Whip does flip three coins, and it does 60 damage for each heads. Would that be worth putting Grass Energy in for? I don't know. I might just focus on Big Bite and just see if the cards work out that I can put the scroll on there. So maybe let's just go with that random, unlikely chance. But what else can we make use of? Let's throw some Professor's Researches in there. And these are the older cards from previous sets, so uh, it might not work out as well as I'm hoping. Team Yell Towel. Heal 50 damage from both active Pokemon. Let's throw in the towel, I guess. A couple of those. Now what do you do again, B? Discard the top five cards of the deck. Attach any energy cards you discarded to your, your bench fighting Pokemon. Okay. We've only got the Cubone Marowak. That's not going to help us. Sir Chester Bath. All basic but will take 20 less damage. Let's throw some stadiums in there. I kind of don't like the Drone Rotom. It, all it does is let you get some intel. Your opponent reveals their hand, and if they do, look at the top card of their deck. Um, I'll fill them in for now, I guess. <laughs> I might take that one out, though. The Memory Capsule says, If Pokemon this card's attached, you can use any attack from its previous evolution toss you in as well, just for the time being. You heal 30 damage from up to two of my Pokemon that have energy attached with the Mumu Cheese. Healing's always good. Now, I do know I'm looking for one trainer in particular. Let's throw some... Uh, we're gonna have a lot of basics. Kind of, but... I want to use those scrolls, so I might keep the uh, tape of, or Cuff of Tapeness out for now. Glimwood Tangle might be good. This says, once during each player's turn, after they flip coins for any attack, they can ignore those flips and start flipping again. Let's toss a couple of these in just for now. What do you say, Kaboo? Shuffle the hand, draw four. If the active Pokemon is my only Pokemon, draw eight. I don't want to overload too many supporters. You only use one per turn, of course. We've got uh, four cards to go. So let us... Oh, we gotta put some boss's orders in. 
How can you not put in some boss's orders in any deck? Now that I have them to make use of, you know I'm going to. Now, who am I looking for? Where are you? I know you're here. I want to save my last, I think, two spaces for a good old friend of mine. Haven't you just recently been reprinted? Bear with me here. Um... Supporter. Why? These are all, of course, standard cards. Who knows who I'm looking for? If you do, let me know in the chat. I might not have time, because I might find her pretty quick. Yes, it's a her. I've spoiled it. You know who I'm looking for. Where is she? Well, I was looking for my other Skylas, but we're going to put you two back in here. Skyla, my favorite supporter card. Let you search your deck for any other trainer card. If it's a stadium, you can play it. If it's an item, you can play it. If it's a tool, you can give it. If it's a supporter, you can't, because you've already used your supporter. So let's save this up. I always like to give it a number. Let's give it one for just put it at the top of the list. One battle styles first. Am I going to change the coin, the deck box, the card sleeve? You know I'm not. I want to get into the match. Uh, Unknown Spike has changed or finished uh, changes to the deck. And Sailor Pika had reminded everyone at but what? Uh, ten minutes ago. I was so distracted letting people know that if you're enjoying the stream, indeed feel free to subscribe. Perhaps maybe join the channel if you'd like to. See what perks are available. You also get monthly Pokemon TCG online code cards or card, depending on what tier you sign up for to sponsor. Uh, Dazzling Shell says, uh, the mustard card, regardless of what style, is like the Maxi and Archie, indeed. Maxi and Archie, like a, what is it? Archie's Ace in the Hole, and I think Maxi's, Maxi's Hidden Ball trick, I think it was. Each of them says, if it's the last card in hand, play it for a good effect. I believe both of them let you put a fully evolved Pokemon right on your bench if you wanted to. And so Pika says, if y'all would like to battle and don't have Chaz added, feel free to send a friend request can I show it right I for some reason I can't show it until I'm into a match but we're gonna start that right now actually I'm gonna just do a little test against the CPU these generally go pretty simply but I mean this is not a what you call it a worthy challenger because they often make miss or uh, I'd say misplays that don't go great look at all our Pokemon to play now dazzling shells asked have you been watching the Pokemon anime lately I haven't actually uh, I haven't watched the anime for quite some time. Ever, like, I've said this before. Ever since Gary and Ash fought at the, I think it was maybe the Indigo Plateau, but ever since Magmar, Gary's Magmar, failed to take out Heracross with a Fire Blast boosted point blank flamethrower, and then Heracross countered with a Mega Horn and knocked out Magmar. That's when I was like, I can't follow this. The actual rules of the game state that Heracross was done. So, I mean, they didn't mention anything about a Focus Sash, you know. Magmar should have taken that win. Alright, what do we want to leave with? Pokemon V? We got Cubone, we got uh, Solanet for the bench. Let's just go with the big guns. I'm going to put Corviknight V down there and see what it can do for us today. So with what I got in hand... I should have actually gone and looked for some other cards. Like, uh, I don't know if Ultra Ball is still usable right now, but I should have put cards that can discard things from my hand so I can get uh, Mustard down to the only card left. Okay, let's go with Salazzle. I didn't put any Pokeball type stuff in here, did I? Just throw the Tool Jammer up here. I need to find a way to get energy. Skyla, what can you do for us? I think probably my best bet at this point is to grab one of our professor's researches. Can't play her this turn, but next turn I can use her to hopefully get a hand of some actual energies to work with. The nose pass is going to stiffen, which says any damage done is reduced by 40 next turn. Okay, so we need a metal energy to start attacking. Professor's research, toss this away. Give us no metal energy. Thank you very much. But we've got another Salandit. We've got Mawile. I suppose... Okay, single strike. We don't... Oh, we do have Carnivine. No, that... Nope, that's Rapid Strike. Right, Professor, pay attention. You are a single strike. But I kind of want to see if I can get the Emboar in place. So let's just go with the Camping Gear. Put a card in my hand. We're going to grab 
As much as I hate to waste this on a single card like this, we're gonna grab a Metal Energy. Ultra Ball is expanded, Sailor Pika reminds us. But, okay, yeah, you're right. I was thinking, what, there's some other cards I think that you can discard two from hand to do some effect. I know Quick Ball says discard a card from hand and search for a, uh, a basic Pokemon, so that could have been something. Okay, let's finally start attacking. You did stiffen again, right? Okay. Draw a card, so we have six in hand. So just to make more use of our good buddy Karina, we're gonna give this the scroll of scorn to Mawile. Let's let Karina draw three cards. We've got Marowak here now. And that's about all there is to work with. So let's go ahead and clutch for no damage, but at least they can't retreat. That's a benefit, I guess. Dazzling Shells is Ash will always be Ash. You can use interesting strategies on the fly. Like the battle against the 7th Gym Leader, timing was the key. Wasn't there also a match where his Infernape dug underground, like using Dig, and then while underground it used uh, Flamethrower or Overheat or something? And it's like, you literally can't do that, Ash! You have to complete the Dig attack first! I know the anime has different rules than the, uh, the video game and stuff, but it's like... Should it though? Okay, fire energy. I mean, we could give it to Carnivine, start powering up for when we get that scroll. I still need to get. Actually, no, I don't need to get the grass. I need to get the special energy. So here's what we will do let's play with the Sir Chester Wrath. I'm going to use the camping gear to try to find that special energy. There it is. Okay, it goes into hand. We can't use it right now, of course. But I can use Skyla next turn to find the scroll. Stop stiffening. I mean, actually, no. Keep stiffening because you're not at least hurting me. We, uh, we're actually... No, we're weak to fire. Okay, I thought we were weak to fighting. Okay. What am I thinking? This can... Why was I thinking this was Rapid Strike? Okay, because so, I'm dumb, obviously. Well, let's, uh... Play Skyla. I want to grab the scroll. So it can attach, like it says, to Rapid Strike Pokemon. I'm going to need to get some more energies, of course. So let's put this to the only Pokemon that can take it right now. We can't really do any damage to it because it's stiffened, so we need to get a fighting energy. What else can we do? A uh, big bite for 30, times 2 to the weakness. You are weak to grass, yes you are. Huh. I should put ways to find better energy searching kind of stuff going on. I see you, memory capsule. For right now, no thank you. I don't need more Pokemon. I need to get energy. Come on now. This deck is not going to work on anybody today. Because if I'm having a struggle against a computer player who clearly could start hitting me but just isn't, and I can't get nothing but Pokemon, then what am I supposed to do against a human player that actually chooses to fight? <laughs> Fire energy. Well, okay, we can at least see what single strikes can do. Let's start powering up the Mawile. One more energy, we can start doing some serious piercing striking. We only need three colorless to power that up. And Kaboo, shuffle the hand of the deck, then draw four cards. Okay, I will do that, but I first want to play out some cards if I can. We're going to... What's your retreat cost? One? Okay. We're going to re, uh, escape rope. Essentially, I want to try to minimize how many cards from this hand I might draw back. Does anyone have a free retreat cost on my side here? Not from the looks of it. Okay, so let's go ahead into something that can retreat for one, if need be. We've got Mawile. What is this? This player's... Basic Pokemon take less damage. Oh, the 
was there a change that happened? Oh, must have been taking away the tool jammer effect. Okay. Kaboo! Help me out! Get me some cards! I need to get some energies! There's an energy! Alright, but I want to use this on... Carnivine. So, at least one more turn to go. That only ta it takes one fighting, does it? Okay, at least we can do something. Ten damage. Well, thirty, of course, because of the uh, energy attached to it. Okay. Now, I want to get a grass energy for Carnivine. Did I put grass in? I didn't put grass in. Never mind. What am I even wasting this for? Well, we uh, took no damage from that, though. There's no energy to... Oh, there is one energy discarded. Shuffle that back in. But for now... Since I can't draw it, I guess I can just do Powerful Vice. Or no, I can use... I'm getting all mixed up here. Furious Anger... Do another 30. One more hit at least takes it out. Sailor Pika says the CPU wants you to wants to give you a fighting chance. I appreciate that, but I should probably put uh, Do I want to put grass energy in? No, I just want to get one more energy to see what uh, our rapid strike can do. Uh, Dazzling Shell says this is basically a stall match so far, indeed. Unknown Spike knows how this goes, not getting the energies when you need them. I bet they're all in the uh, prize. Okay, let's get our first prize. Let's grab ourselves a nice energy card. I'm going to say this is energy. Thank you. All righty. We're in a bit of business. Stampede doing nothing. Thanks to that Sir Chester bath, we're taking no hits. Actually, Carnivine will be the same, too. Hmm. I'll leave Bruno where he is for now. Let us... Well, we've seen what the single strike can do for the time being. Let's retreat for Carnivine. Discard the basic energy. Let's give it the energy it needs to start attacking the entire squad. Now watch this. Matchless Maelstrom doing 30 damage to each of the opposing Pokemon. Forgot my stadium's in the way. But fortunately, when I play Bruno and shuffle in a new stadium, never mind, there's a new stadium right there. Okay. I guess that's it. Let's just start doing some serious damage. That's a lot of damage. I like that. Oh, is there... Could you imagine? There's a, there's an item, a tool. No. Nope. Never mind. I was going to say, there's a tool that lets your Pokemon do uh, weakness or resistance to the bench. But, of course, you've got the tool attached to uh, do the attack for starters, so you can be able to double up on those. Just keep them all while powering up here, and just go for another... Matchless Maelstrom. Well, despite the fact that this was a very slow match against the computer, that was a rapid win at the end. <laughs> Taking five down in one hit. One attack. Won the match. Alright, so yeah, I don't think we need to make use of Carnivine's basic attacks there. I believe the Matchless Maelstrom, once everything gets into play, will do great. But I kind of want to swap some trainers, get some energy searching. Yeah, Wipeout indeed. Thank you, Dazzling Shell. It, like, just <laughs> took five down in one go. Okay, where is... I'm going to type search. We need to find energy searching. We don't need the water. I guess I could put Sonya, because she can get too basic. Who do we want to take out? That was a cool win, says Sailor Pika. Thank you very much. It was unexpected, for sure. So, what are some older cards? I guess we don't really need the memory capsule. Tool Jammer, maybe. I should take out another supporter, though. I think I'll take out one of the professor's researches. Put two Sonyas in. And there is, well, I don't know if it would really be necessary with this deck, but there is the training stadium, I think it's called. Where are you at? That lets me bring back a discarded energy. It's Viridian Forest. Once during each player's turn, they can discard a card from hand, then search their deck for a basic energy. That might be good. I'm going to probably take out the Sir Chester Bath. 
probably going to take Glimwood Tangle. I'm not doing many coin flips with my attacks. So we'll take out Glimwood Tangle instead. Put in the Viridian Forests. But there was a training field or training stadium support. Or st stadium card. Where is that? I don't think it was this far back. Oh, never mind. I've got the search thing listed. Okay. That's why I'm not seeing it. I think I like Viridian Forest better than bringing back discarded stuff. Okay, I think that's a nice little update to the deck. Who would like to do a match versus this crazy randomness that I got going on the Battle Styles Day 1? I'm going to hold here for a little bit. Let's go over to the collection. Should we take a peeky at the cards right now? I think we might as well. So what else could we have gotten? We have Bellsprout that does Venishock plus, or sorry, 10 plus. 40 more damage if the opposing Pokemon is poison. Ugh. I'm not. That's not the card art reaction. The first, uh, the ability, dangerous mucus. Ugh. And then I look at the card art and I'm like, Ugh. Uh, when you play this Pokemon to evolve one of your Bell Sprout, you may uh, uh, burn and poison the opposing active Pokemon. Uh, though, ugh. that would work well with the what was it? That Salazzle, 90 damage. Her special condition. Weeping Bell, get those conditions on it. De evolution spray that thing, bring it back to hand. Use your. Where is it here? Battle styles. Okay, let's go versus Unknown Spike. Uh, yeah, de evolve the Weeping Bell. Then. Is that the right deck that I choose? I hope I chose the right deck. Then. Do the 180 damage basically. Next turn, play that Salazzle once again. Or play the Awakenal once again. Salazzle tears through another 180. That could be good. Sailor Pika is saying, oh wait, your Charizard had evolved into Mega Charizard. Why? It was Mega Charizard X. I got no basics. I have to make that Mulligan's Island emoji very soon. In fact, I want to say, as soon as this is over, I'm making that emoji. I know it's too late for this stream, but I want to put Mulligan's Island in our emoji collection. How many Mulligans do we get? One, two, eighty-four. No, just one. And we get Mawa. Okay. Well, we got Sonya to find basic. We are going second, so we can play our supporters on the first turn that we take. But yes, Sailor Pika says, if you want to send me a friend request in Pokemon TCG Online, Dotman64 is the name in the very far bottom right corner of the gameplay screen. Just uh, send me that request, and I can confirm, and we'll do some matches. Alright, we have that Noibat on there. Noibat getting powered up. We're going to see the Noivern GX, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so you are resistant to fighting, so... That won't help us. I'm going to play Sonya to get some basic energy. I'm going to grab a metal and I guess a fire just to thin those numbers out in the deck a little bit. So let's go ahead and grab this on Mawile. Hmm. I might as well just go for powerful... Mm. Yeah, I was thinking, do we have a way to get that special energy to do more damage? But well, let's just go powerful vice. Do 20 to the Noibat. Oh, that paralyzed. I thought Powerful Vice prevented retreat, but no, heads I can paralyze with. Okay. Sailor Pika just got the one year badge, which is Mega Charizard Y. So, in one more year's time, you will Gigantamax your uh, member badge into Gigantamax Charizard. That's going to be a while. To be specific, a year. Something to look forward to in 12 months' time. Anyway, congratulations for getting that uh, upgraded member badge. And if you folks out there would like to get member badges of your own next to your name here on YouTube, click the Join button below our stream right now and see what other perks might be of interest to you if you would like to support the channel and my wacky adventures here in the world of Pokemon TCG Online and beyond. All right. What do I want? I might as well put a fire energy to Mawile. You can let me draw till I have six. I can use that to get one card. I think... 
I'm not really doing a lot of damage. I don't really need to focus on the powerful vice. Besides, I mean, one more card, one more energy means I can do 100. So let's do the camping gear. What do I want to make use of? Definitely want to find a supporter. Kind of want to get more Pokemon. So let's grab Sonya. So that ends my turn. Force camping gear is a end of end of turn or turn ending uh, trainer card. The next turn you can get me some basics. I'll drop another energy down. I'm basically preparing to use uh, Karina's focus at some point. But there are other trainer cards that say search your deck for any let's say. Uh, single strike card that would count as the supporters there. I flip ahead, very nice. I got a new hand to work with, a whole bunch of Pokemon, and some cheese. Cheese makes everything better, doesn't it? Think of it like, like, uh, like, uh, we're doomed. <laughs> this ain't so good. But cheese is good, you know. Just think of it. All the, all the applications that cheese has. We got Tepig. We got Buffalant. We got. On here, we got Cubone. Let's just try to drop stuff out of my hand. Let's see if we can actually get some energy thanks to Kaboo for our new cards. We do have an energy indeed. So, with two, with one more uh, dark energy, 50, and I can't play item cards. Okay. But with this, I can use the Piercing Strike. A decent 100 damage being done. No other effects happen to change that. Okay. And I do gust the boss's orders, but I do know Steam Sale. They got a lot of healing potential in this deck, so I might see Pokemon Center Lady coming into play. Or another Noivern GX showing up as well. Which is okay, which is cool, which is fine, I guess. Will we see some healing on this one, though? We will indeed. Pokemon Center Lady, as expected. And a potion, as expected-ish. So I'm going to take two more piercing strikes. If I could find that special energy, I could at least do a little bit more damage every turn. I can throw in the towel to heal my opponent, but that's not really the smartest thing for Teddy. I could bring it up to the active spot. So their boom burst does 50 across the board. Sonic volume is 120. I can't play special energy next turn. I kind of feel like I should do damage to this one. So let's use the boss's orders to bring this one active. Hit it for the powerful 100. So again, one more piercing strike does the trick, unless we see more of that healing coming into play. I've said before too, so I've noticed that Steam Sale has a lot of like single cards, like maybe one or two of various types. But I think the healing is one of your more common cards you've included several of. Drill. Once during your turn, if this Pokemon is the last card in hand, play it on the bench and draw three. Sharp Sting for only two energy, just 120. That's the problem. I don't have a lot of energy on Mawile, so... Yeah, one more attack if they get one more energy. Well, Sonic Volume takes down Mawile, but the Boom Burst doesn't. Sky is being played to search for a trainer card. At least we get to see it, whatever it happens to be, though. If you have an energy search of some type, then we're going to lose our Mawile. Lily. Okay, so next turn, Lily could come in handy. Just don't have an energy and we'll be okay. We will survive the turn. So with these two cards, I can heal 50 and then 30. So I can heal up to 80 from one of my Pokemon. I guess the concept of single strike works here for like the the piercing strike, where like you know once you get enough energy, you can hit really hard. And in some cases, a single strike will be enough to uh, take down an opposing Pokemon. So, what special energy do you have attached? The aromatic energy. That's it. So let's actually slow down the energy of the opponent. The fan of waves, I believe that is, uh, puts that special energy on the bottom of the deck. We've got a Salazzle to play down now. I'll just go for the straight up 100 damage. I was thinking, should I paralyze or try to paralyze this? That would slow us down as far as dishing us some damage. A nice decent 100 ain't nothing to shake a stick at. 
And if there are other people subscribing to the stream, thank you for doing so. Welcome to the Professor Chaz channel, where we mulligan all the time, but we have fun regardless. Trying to play Pokemon TCG Online. This is our uh, day one coverage of the new Battle Styles expansion of Pokemon TCG. Seeing what we can do with our first ten randomized booster packs to see if we can actually pull off some sort of a win. Or if not, just enjoying the fun of new cards. Okay, so I can use Sonya to find some energy. Which energies do I want to get? I think fire probably is our best bet. So let's grab... Let's go basically two fire here, okay. I didn't mention it either, too, but my, my cordless mouse, my wireless mouse, is still kind of weird with uh, reading things as incorrect, like clicks or double clicks or whatever. I think I actually want to charge up Bufalon, because we do more damage to grass types. It's going to take two more energy to pull that off, though. Right, piercing Strike, another 100. And I didn't even take a look lately, but how is the stream looking? I think things are all well and good. It seems to be. Okay. No complaints here. Pokemon Center Lady once again healing up the benched Noivern GX. Do we have any more energy on there? Not just yet. Again, I could heal 50 from both of us, but let's not do that just yet. Go for... So... Since a piercing strike won't knock out Zerude V, I'm going to go for the powerful vice to maybe paralyze. We do get the paralysis. Uh, Pokemon Center Lady, of course, ignores all that, but at least they can't retreat if they happen to get the energy needed to do so. So it leaves Zerude V in a vulnerable uh, position for a follow up piercing strike attack. We haven't even gotten really the. Like the scrolls in play, the special energy. This is just a, you know, basically just Mawile doing what it does. And I see hairs on my hat once again. Oh, is that a special? Double Dragon. Oh, no. Poke Kid searching for any Pokemon from the deck, I believe that does. So now this has three energy attached. So it can Sonic Volume, it can Boom Burst, it can do whatever it feels like it wants to do. And I believe the Sonic Volume will drop the uh, Mawile. In fact, it drops a lot of stuff on my side. Which ain't perfect. In DDV says, once during the turn, you're going to heal. You may heal 20 from the active Pokemon, so I should have... If I knew that, I would have done the Piercing Strike. But I didn't know that. Camping gear. I kind of don't want to end my turn right now, so you hang on right now. Let's go for the Piercing Strike again, 100. So even the Watch Over won't help survive a uh, follow-up hit next turn. But my concern is, if they give an energy to Zerude, they can retreat it. And this can come up and destroy Mawile. And dash a lot of hopes I had for some kind of a win here. Poke Kid being played to find one more Pokemon out of the deck. Now what I could do, worst case scenario, is well, when Mawile falls, I'm going to lose these energies to the discard pile. I do have Energy Recycler. I could then play the Camping Gear to... What would be best to find in that case? I might even choose to find our Professor's Research. We got Weedle down on the bench. Okay, so the bench is full on both sides. You know, a, a Colrus would be really great right about now. Gonna heal another 20. Again, that won't save these Arude V in the grand scheme of things. Find another Salazzle. Really not much more to do. Let's just go ahead and Piercing Strike. At least getting two prizes. We will lose Mawile. But at least we did some damage. Skyla, okay. We got energy, okay. Hmm. We've already used that fan. If we could, if we had another one of those, uh, was it fan of waves? We could get rid of that double dragon. 
Rare candy. Oh, another B drill coming in. I can, like I say, hit for 120 with uh, just two energy cards, which that's really good. Two, like one energy provides 60 damage, basically. Oh, not bad. Get the heal in there. Okay. I needed someone with free retreat. That would be so great. So, none of these have the HP needed to survive a hit from this. So this, I believe, says I can't play special energy next turn. Who's going to take the hit from me? Pawniard, I think you're going to have to take a hit for me. We'll probably see Boom Burst next turn, though. Or maybe. Oh, we've got the escape rope, but they have free retreat on Beedrill, so that doesn't super help us. We can play Solandit. I think you've done you've done playing their Solandit. Or you haven't even technically done anything yet, but. What do I want to grab? Should I try getting Carnivine going here? Hmm, well. I think I'm going to play Skyla. Well, no, let's not waste Skyla just yet. I'm going to attach this to Bufalon. I know Pawniard will fall. I think what I'm going to do here... Let's play the camping... Mm, let's first play the Energy Recycler, bring back some of our lost energy. And now let's play the camping gear. I'm going to find myself... Where is it? Where is it? The Sir Chester Bath. Of course, the Cape Gear ends the turn, but I can play Sir Chester Bath next turn. So all basics will take, what is it, 30 less damage? 20 less damage. Which means Bufalant... This is going to work out pretty good. Bufalant is going to take damage from the... If the Boom Burst GX comes into play, everyone taking 30. I didn't want you to do that. You deserve three cards. I deserve six cards. Random luck. There we go. But we do have Professor's Research. Okay. I'd like to get the Sir Chester Bath back if I could. Reducing damage to all... Uh... You know what, actually? Hang on. If I can get this to work out, I'm going to show you something really cool. A really not often situation that happens in Pokemon TCG. Okay, so let's... This only goes to single strikes. Okay, so... Uh, that actually I'm going to put onto Pig Knight. I'm going to Professor's Research, discard my hand. So like Pika says, if you're enjoying the stream today, feel free to smash the like button, subscribe for regular Pokemon content, and join as a channel sponsor to help out the channel. Thank you for the reminder, Sailor Pika. Okay, so we didn't get escape rope like I was hoping for. But I'm gonna put Carnivine down. The one for reinforce. I can discard a card from hand and search the deck for a basic energy. That would help them though too. I've got energy right now. I don't think I need that. So we're probably gonna see boom burst now to try to put damage on everything I've got. I really want to find Sir Chester Bath. Okay. If it doesn't work, I'll explain what I was going to do. But, did I use both Skylas so far? Did I use, I didn't use any Skylas yet? Didn't I use a Skyla? Alright, not complaining. I should have used the Team Yell Towel. Did it let me use that? Or would it have let me? I don't even know. Okay, moment of truth. No free retreats. I'm going to send up our Bufalant. Can we see Sir Chester Bath? No. So what I was going to do, Sir Chester Bath says all basic Pokemon... Actually, this might not have worked out how I'm thinking, but I think it says all basic Pokemon take 20 less damage. Although I think that speci specifically says from opposing Pokemon attacks. If it didn't, though where Head Charge does 120 and says this Pokemon does 32 itself, technically, it is 
being dealt damage. So any card that says your Pokemon takes somewhat less damage, it would reduce its own recoil, which would be kind of cool. Okay, but since it's not happening the way I want it to, I'm going to play Viridian Forest. Let's uh, discard... I don't think we need the metal right now. Discard that, grab ourselves a fighting. And give that to... Well, what can you do? 90? We need uh, two fighting for you. Though. Well, okay, we might be able to make this happen. Let's go ahead and do the head charge for 120. Gonna hit ourselves for 30. Let's see what we can make work against this Noivern GX. So far it's an even game, four prizes apiece remaining. Because a shiny little Noibat, the parallel foil. Thank you, Sailor Pika. Yeah, that would have worked really well if I happened to have the search Chester Bath. But I do believe it specifically states the opposing uh, it, it takes less damage from the opposing active Pokemon. But there are some cards that kind of play into things like there was a Golurk back in, I think it was the Ancient Origins expansion, that says, while Golurk is in play, it counts as a psychic and fighting Pokemon. And it had a move that took 40 damage, or it dealt 40 damage to itself, but, or was it 20? I think it was 20. But what was really cool is that its resistance was fighting type, so it resisted its own recoil while in play. And that was really, really cool. I don't like that you just healed, because I could have done something amazing if you had... Well, I mean, I could still? So this all comes down to if I have a fighting energy that I can make use of. I believe... Again, these cards are kind of new to me, but there's that fighting energy. I don't think there's any tools to worry about here. I think we're good with everything here. So I believe if I'm doing the math, well, hang on. Let's actually thin our deck by one more card. Smart thing to do. Uh, let's grab the fighting. So the single strike energy here says, as long as this card's attached to a single strike Pokemon, we do 20 more damage. We're doing uh, 90 with combustion, plus 20 to 110. So we should take this Neuburn GX down, we do. This one is going to strike us down, unfortunately. Boss's orders, okay. There's our Skylar, second Skylar. The other one's locked in the deck somewhere. Hmm. With three prizes left, I'm pretty sure Steam Sail is going to take this win. Sailor Pika saying this is quite the intense battle. At least my non, like, uh... Pokemon V are holding their own against a GX deck. Temporarily, you know, for the time being. The uh, Cuff of Tapers would have been great here, though. Nice full art Pokemon fan club. Grabbing a couple basics. You see Zop. Ooh, look at that fancy. Oh, I can't see it. Oh, I'm supposed to be able to right click it to see it big, and it wouldn't let me. Put it down. I want to see it. Put it down. Show it. I want to right click it. There, knock on. Yes, a sonic volume prevent or drops our pig knight. So they only need two more prizes left. I think we have no more fighting energy remaining. Or fire energy. We could have tried for the confusion. Let's send up Cubone. Another Salandit. Let's just do our thinning of the deck. Let's get rid of Solandit. And grab our last energy. We have no more other energy recycling uh, aspects here. Hmm. Skyla, what else do we have in the deck? Please show me. Escape robes. Mm, that could be something. Need to get that scroll if we're gonna have any chance of anything or anything. I think our best bet we're gonna grab Sir Chester Bath. 
gonna play the search chest or bath. We got no tools, so our tool jammer's not gonna really help us. Let's go ahead and energize the carnivine. I'm working out some mathematicals in my brain. Doing 120 with the sonic volume. This reduces it by 20 for basic Pokemon, which is 100. So Carnivine will survive one sonic volume. Now it's not going to help us. Even if we get enough energy powered up and make use of the scroll, we could take out the B drill. 30 damage to everything across the uh, the aisle. Not enough to do any more knockouts here. Hmm. Well, wait a minute. We may have a shot at something. happens though if this doesn't evolve which I think it will because uh, Steam Sale just shuffled back in one of their Noivern GX's. This is kind of unlikely to happen. Let's use... Again there's no tool so there's no use for that. I can heal. Definitely don't want to heal. So I'm going to play Boss's Orders. I'm going to bring up the Noibat. I will use the Big Bite for 30. Well, it's only going to do 10, of course. This is a basic Pokemon, but... Yeah, never mind. My idea is not going to work, unfortunately. So, once this next turn plays out, I'll explain what I was going to do. I'll do it right now, actually. So, if we had done regular damage to the Noibat, then if I did happen to get that scroll, I could have attached an energy to Carnivine, hit for 30 across the board, Take the Noibat down and that B drill for the last two prizes I needed. But there's an evolution right there anyway. They can still only hit me for 100, though, for starters. Actually, that would have been a problem, too, for healing for 20. So, yeah, I don't think we had a chance to win. But if we can survive this turn and find that scroll, then we can at least get another knockout. Not going to find that scroll, unfortunately. Anything that can happen right now. So the most we can do is big bite for 30. So even if we were to uh, retreat, Sonic Volume, or sorry, uh, Boom Burst GX takes out the benched Carnivine. So that's basically it. Let's just go for a big bite. All Steam still needs to do is click that GX attack, and they've got the. Actually, click any attack, and they've got the win. We had some potential chances to pull things through here. You don't need to play any cards, you know. You could have easily done that on Carnivine. Alright, but Steam Sale does get that win, so our first defeat of the night. I'm sure it won't be the last defeat of the night, though. So anyone else want to send me a battle request? You go right ahead. Do we have any, uh... No. Alright. No, uh, requests coming in just yet. As we wait, I'm going to keep scrolling through. What does the Victory Bell do? Panic Vine does 40. The opponent's active Pokemon is now confused. During the opponent's next turn, that Pokemon can't retreat. Solar Beam does 120. So, yes, anyway, I didn't say it. Good game to Steam Sale. Unknown Spike. Well, or well fought indeed. Okay, Solar Beam does 120. What does the Cacturn do? Pull says switch an opposing bench Pokemon with the active. Spiny Punch, 60 plus. If it's got any darkness energy attached, another 70. Cricketune V. Cricketune gets a V card? Exciting stage. Once during your turn, you may draw cards until you have three in hand. If this Pokemon is active, draw until you have four in hand. You can't use more than one of these per turn. And X Scissor does 80 plus 80 more if you flip a heads. Nice. Okay, Cherim. What did I miss out on with Cherim? Spring Bloom. As often as you like during your turn, it may attach a grass energy from your hand to one of your Pokemon that doesn't have a rule box. So more rule box... Uh, technicalities here in some of these cards. So that lets you attach as much grass per turn as you want. 
I was, my first thought, you know it, Beedrill GX, yes, wait, it's got a rule box, so, eh, no, you had that card up the sleeve, did ya, basically, yeah, it's just like a, uh, the, uh, what is it, boss's order, so I played a few on you, I guess, you know, makes sense, getting some played back at me, these headphones, I tell ya, the audio just keeps cutting out, the volume, uh, scroll wheel thing, ain't perfect no more, Someday I'll get a new set. You're going to use a Battle Styles deck from the packs you threw together as well. You say, probably won't win. Well, uh, I'm not going to go first. I want to use a supporter. Thank you. But again, my deck is not really well put together either. In fact, welcome to Mulligan's Island. I need to make that. Okay. What time is it right now? 8.30. Wow. Well, I started at 7, I guess, so that makes sense. I'm going to give myself a reminder for, let's say, 10 p.m. That reminder is going to remind me to make Mulligan's Island emoji. And you know we're going to have to make another live stream. Actually, we do need to do a live stream for our members here, our channel sponsors. So we'll do another one of those. Uh, that only goes on to the single strikers. But we do the uh, live streams for members only once per month. I think we might have missed last month, so I'll do two this month at some point. I'll probably do one over the weekend, maybe? Or maybe into next, early next week. I don't know. We'll see how things play out. But I'll sh I'm going to try to have the Mulligan's Island emoji ready. I know that's probably not a big deal. Like, wow, one new emoji. I'll be back here for that. But from that starting point, at least it'll be something new to uh, add to our streams. Okay, so this goes on to a single strike. Yeah, okay, I was like, why is it highlighted? I have no single strikes out, but I can technically give this to any Pokemon. I guess I'm just gonna give you that. So, Bruno says, shuffle the hand and draw four. If anything got knocked out last turn, draw seven instead. So that's not really useful just yet. I mean, not as useful. Call sign, search your deck for a Pokemon, reveal it, put it in your hand. I'm gonna try to get our Embor into play. I'm not gonna try to get Embor into play, because I don't have Tepig in the deck, so forget that idea completely. I guess we can grab Marowak, though, because we do have Cubone on the bench. Oh, uh, let's see. Sailor Pika says, you're, okay, you're gonna use the... the Battle Styles deck. Unknown Spike says you could have used the Lysandre much earlier, but you could have lost. Yeah, I mean, if you, if you're basically, if you're winning, I always think this too. Like, you know, don't use the card when you don't need to use it, because it might come in handy much later. There's, there's times I will play out more cards because I want to thin my hand out. Like, if I'm shuffling back in and drawing new, like I don't want to draw too many cards back that I already had. But things like that, that. Uh, Lysandre or the boss's orders are good to hang on to until you definitely need them. Okay, Marowak, let's get you into play. And Solandit, let's get you into play. I guess I'll give you a fighting energy. And... I gotta play Bruno now, I think. I should play out Bouffalant again, as I just said get one less card out of my hand so I don't draw it back. I kind of like having this in hand, but there's no one I can really give it to, so... I guess I'll play the Bruno. Hey, we got it back! Look at that! Okay! Hey! We got Viridian Forest. So I think I'm gonna throw out the towel. And let's grab us a... Hmm. That I want to keep for Carnivine. Let's grab ourselves a Fire, I guess. So I'm going to keep the rest of this here. Uh, I have to do the Perplex to confuse the opposing Pokemon. So I can at least do some damage next turn with the Derisive Roasting. Of course, we're going to see Houndoom put into play, which is going to cure the confusion. Which means we don't get a knockout. Or do we? Let's see, Unknown Spike says you'll change some cards in the deck. Okay, whatever you think uh, you know, needs to be switched out. Like I say, I don't remember exactly what was in your deck the last time we took a look at it. But certainly, if whatever cards you find 
more useful than others, try to build up on the more useful cards. And I think we were talking, like you say, you don't have multiples of certain cards. That's why I recommend checking the trades, seeing if there's anyone offering the cards you need, or if not, and if you got the tokens to set a trade of your own, a public trade, offer a couple less useful cards for the one that you're looking for. That's generally how I build up the decks that I put together. I was going to say, the Mega Beedrill deck, sorry, well yeah, Mega Beedrill GX deck. Hey, look what we just found! Found the Houndoom! Uh, I, a lot of those cards I think I probably would have traded for, but I know I bought two of the Beedrill, or actually, I got the Beedrill GX collection boxes as Christmas presents. Okay, what do you do? Whoops, not you. 50 damage, so Darkness Magnus is 50. Once during your turn... Houndoom lets you search your deck for a single strike energy and attach it to one of your single strike Pokemon. If you if you did this, put two damage counters on Houndoom. All right. Ah, oh, see. So we're down in 20 more damage. I think it might be best to try the escape rope. But will that help us at all? It might, actually. I'm going to play Escape Rope. Let's bring up Marowak as a defensive measure, because the battle armor uh, reduces damage. I feel like I should discard the metal. I don't think metal's going to help us too much. Let's grab another fire. Just essentially making less energy for me to draw into. Hmm. Okay, let's attach this to Marowak. There is only one more fighting energy in the deck, but I do have the energy recycler. I'm going to click done. I'll be right back. Take your turn, Sailor Pika. i got to use a quick bathroom break. thinking, can I hold on? Can I hold on? No, I need to go. Okay, so we got the search chester battle. Uh, well, that's not really going to help my side as it is, so I'll hang on to it for the time being. No, you know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to throw it away. I want more energy to get drawn out. Let's grab a metal just for a... No, what was I going to do? Get the... The fighting energy, so we can start doing some damage with our bone meringuing Marowak. If we can get one heads. We took down Timber at least. That's a prize. All right, we got a metal energy, which I was about to grab from the deck anyway. Yes, as Sailor Pika says, thanks to everybody for subscribing today for some Pokemon TCG online content. Plus some other stuff around the channel if you want to take a look see what's going on there. Pokemon X on the go, as well as Pokemon Go on the X. Research? No! I mean, that's fine. Thinning out your hand to nothing, and then not really losing anything to get a whole new hand. Now, wouldn't it be great if we could flip uh, two heads for this next one? What does the Vitality Band do? I want to see it. This Pokemon does 10 more damage, so 60 minus 30. So we're going to only take 30, which is fine. So they found a single strike card. That doesn't say reveal it, though, does it? Search your deck for a single strike energy card, attach it to... Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's energy. So you give it... Oh, I gave it to itself. No! Trying to get through our battle armor. Ow! 
<laughs> with all those power-ups, you're doing just enough to even up the damage. Alright, again, let's reinforce. I keep drawing energy even though I'm, you know, thinning out the deck so there shouldn't be much energy to draw. But apparently there is. I guess I might as well start powering up Bufalon. I don't like the fighting types over there because we're weak to them. But you gotta do what you gotta do. Flip two heads if you please. There's one and there's two. Okay, perfect job, Marowak. I should have kept Glimwood Tangle in. You think? That would have been great right about now. And now we got us the Herder over on the old Venture Rooney. Buffalon don't like the look of that. Why am I hanging on to this? I'm not going to make use of this, am I? Although if we can find Mawile, maybe I could, but I would need Fighting Energy. So I should have really considered putting more Fighting Energy in this deck to make use of these scrolls. Hindsight is, as they say, 50-50 though, so... It ain't what it should have been. And what does that mean? I don't know. I'm yammering as I grab another fire. And now let's flip two heads. There's one, and there's the other. Well, that's something. Hmm. Hey, you should use your ability. Use single strike roar. That'd be great. Knock yourself out. I mean, literally. We know that ain't happening. Oh, you got this one now. You got a you got a hammer pressure and concealer. Oh. Hmm. One hit from hammer pressure destroys us. Did you just no? Did you no? You just oh. It just did the thing. She just she just got an energy. It's not good for me. So we can't reliably knock this out. Like we could confuse it. Ain't likely gonna do too much because uh, they can either retreat, they can maybe heal that. See, I can't damage this with Salazzle. Buffalon has to be the one. And even if Buffalon gets the win, this thing destroys Buffalon. But we kind of know that's going to happen eventually, so let's just let Buffalon take the hit. I want to keep what we got for now, I suppose. Let's just go ahead, head charge. 20, getting a prize. What do I want? I want energy recycler. Thank you. I'm kind of mine. Uh, you're both weak to psychic, I would presume. Yes, indeed. So sometimes fighting cards are weak to grass, but I didn't think these uh, actual fighters from the main series video games would be grass weaknesses. So here we see how sometimes a stadium hurts yourself. This is allowing Sailor Pika to find energy needed to power up the uh, Kelder here. How does Mega Punch do 150? It's funny how, like, sometimes they'll use names of attacks from the main series, the you know, 3DS, Switch, what have you, and they're way more powerful or way underpowered compared to what you know they do in the main series. Uh, I believe I was watching some classic Pokemon. TCG on Game Boy Color, and there's a Chansey that has double edge. Now, we know Chansey's not a physical attacker. It is more, of, it's not really offensive, it is more on the defense, but this Chansey could use double edge for, I think, 120 damage. When does a Chansey ever do that kind of damage, right? Okay, we got Carnivine. We got the scroll of something. We've got also the scroll of something else. But I think let's just go with a perplex, get the confusion. Will that help us at all? Probably not. Because this does what? 90 with the hammer pressure. 150 with mega punch. Well, okay, 90. So it says, hammer pressure says, if the defending Pokemon is an evolution Pokemon, then we're going to play Switch and get Compelder out of there because that's the smart thing to do. Spiral Rush does a lot. 30 plus for each head. Okay, so you could get a zero, actually, which would help us. Let's... We're going to throw all this stuff away anyway. It's all in there, uh... Pig Knight or Embor. 
let's throw this onto you, Carnivine. Not much you can really do, but let's get the professor's research going. We got some cheese, we got some we got a bath for afterwards. So I'm going to play the bat. Uh, I'm gonna bench like a Salandit. Let's bench the Corviknight V, which uh, resists grass, not fighting. Okay. I guess we'll bench you as well. Just get these cards out of my hand, and there ain't nothing more that I can do this turn. But we will take less damage because Carnivine is a basic. So is Drompa. Now that you mention it, but nothing. I got nothing. Okay, we have the scroll on there though. I, <laughs> I want to get a fighting and another energy on there if I can. I got cheese. I can heal cheese. Assuming we get some kind, of, you know, some bad rolls on Drompa to get us some serious damage. Quick ball is used to find a basic to go. Is it into the hand? I think. Yes, into your hand. Okay. We see it bench down. So if there are more subscribers coming on in, because again, I don't know why this widget thing I've got repeatedly shows people subscribing. I even did a thing on our like the YouTube dashboard to specifically link the stream to just my my broadcast here. Like this, the video that you're watching is linked directly to our stream. For some reason, that doesn't. I don't even know. It doesn't do what it's supposed to do. There's a big problem. We're gonna heal. No. Am I missing something? You did 70. And how many coin flips was that? I think you only got... Didn't you only flip two heads? I don't even know. But we're gonna attach this to Carnivine. We're going to use the Rotom, or the Drone Rotom, to see what's in the hand. Quick Ball and Dark Energy, and... I don't like the look of that on the top of your deck. I really don't. We're gonna Big Bite. A powerful 10, thanks to my own Sir Chester Bath. Okay, there's only one basic over there, so if, uh... If we happen to get a Fighting Energy, which is gonna take a lot of luck... In fact, I don't think it's going to happen. I would need to get, uh, I need to top deck the Energy Recycler, but at the same time, also top deck Sonya. I don't see that happening. Oh, it's 30 plus 30 for each heads, okay. So who is, eh, that's not gonna help. They all have basic retreat costs. Is, I guess just, ooh, yeah, just to slow things down a bit. Let's get the boss's orders going on here. That's big bite, so you can't retreat this next turn. Oh, you're weak to grass! Yes! I wasn't even thinking that. That doesn't really help us, though. So we're going to take two more hits to take this down. Though, you can only hit me for 30. Which does mean, of course, that I will fall in one more hit, though. Not anymore. We're going to eat some cheese. Yay, cheese, cheese makes everything better, like I said. Fight for another 60. We're not gonna make it, gang. We're not gonna make it. Like, we'll survive this next bite. This next uh, Darkness Fang. Is that... Would that be equivalent to Crunch, would you say, in, from the main series? I'm trying to think. I know there's, like, Ice Fang, Fire Fang, and I'm like, there isn't an actual Darkness Fang in the games. But then I'm thinking that could be a variation of Crunch. Alright, let's get this knocked out. Let's lose our Carnivine next turn to basically anything that's on the opposing side. We got us a Tepig after we've already discarded. Who is it? Um, 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 Pig Knight, Embor. Thanks, game. There's the Tepig we needed. But we can give that to our, uh,. Or Tepig, we can give it the single strike energy. Yay! So Mega Punch 150. Only 130. Ah, we took less damage. Thank you, Sir Chester Bath. You saved my life. I have no fighting resistances. So let's just. This is a basic. We'll take less damage from Mega Punch. It's gonna take a couple hits to drop us. Okay, let's play to Pig. 
No, are we out of energy? There's a lot of energy in that discard pile. I don't think we're going to find what we need for Corviknight. So let's attach this to Tepig, since we can only give it to uh, Single Strike. And Kaboo finds us. There's the Energy Recycler. There's also Mawile. Well, this does something. Let's shuffle these back in. Okay. Because next turn we have Sonya. It'll be really crazy. Well, we can't... Oh, wait a minute. No. No. It's not going to work. I was thinking I could play Sonya just to find one energy or one Pokemon, play it, and then Colonel Mustard is our last card in hand. That would have been something. It ain't going to be. But it would have. Hmm. Can you help us by any means, Skyla? See, I could go for Sonya to find basic energy, get a basic metal, clutch for 30. We lose on the next turn. And this gives two prizes, so Sailor Pika takes the win if they get this Corviknight knocked out. So, Sonya is not going to help us. Let's play Skyla. What can you get us? That would survive one more turn. But, in the grand scheme, does that really help us as much as it... <sighs> you know what? That's the only thing I think is going to do anything for us. Let's go ahead. Let's throw in the towel. That doesn't even do enough. You know what? I think, yeah, one, one more Mega Punch is 130. It still does just enough to knock out Corviknight V. Final prizes have been claimed. Alrighty, so again... No go here. So I'll do one more battle with another uh, viewer out there if anyone new wants to try it out. But for the time being, let's just do a random versus battle. And see how well... Whoa! Tag team. How well does this crazy new deck of ours hold up? I'm going to assume it simply doesn't. But who knows? You never know what the opponents have to work with too, though. So if anybody else out there wants to battle, let me know in the chat. Because if nobody does, after this is uh, complete here, I'm going to just take a quick look through all the cards of the new set and see if there's any ideas that I see sparking that we can uh, make use of for some of our other decks. Oh, good! They went first. We get to use our supporter. Welcome to the Professor Chaz. Look at those card sleeves! Channel where we mulligan all the time. I have my timer reminder. We're going to make that emoji. I'm still only getting one mulligan, though. I mean, that's not terrible. And good game to you as well, Sailor Pika. Okay, what do they have to work with? They got a nice, uh, is that Z uh, which? Zacian's the sword dude, right? Got the Zacian. Oh, they stole my idea. They took my Corviknight Vs. Okay, so, well, I mean, that's basic. The Sir Chester Bath is not a great thing for us to play right now. I do want to get more basic Pokemons. So let's get the Sonya in play. What do we want to find? You know what? We're going to show them up. We're going to show them our Corviknight V and a powerful... Tepig or Carnivine? Tepig or Carnivine? Well, they're weak to fire. Let's grab Tepig. You know what I should have done, actually? I should have looked through the entire deck to see if I actually have uh, Pignite and Embor. Ain't that thinking? President Lincoln. Not quite. Anyway. Well, I will... Mm, well, he will... Okay, I'll play Sir Chester Bath just so I can take less damage for now. Let's go ahead and play out the Drone Rotom. Why didn't you play them all out? You still got another one in your hand. Okay, Metal Saucer, we got Switch Cards, Evolution Incense, Cynthia and Caitlyn. And Stoutland V is your top card. Double dip fangs. Are you George Costanza? You're not supposed to double dip. Let's give this a new pet pig, and that's going to be our turn. Unknown Spike, you actually already battled today, so I'm going to say no. And Sailor Pika says, if you're enjoying the stream today, feel free to smash the like button, subscribe for some more regular Pokemon content, and click the join button to check out the uh, perks available if you'd like to sponsor and support the channel. Okay. 
So what do we have to work with now? Do they actually just shuffle their hand, or is this... This... I'm just gonna quit. There's... They're too good. I can tell already. Okay, only 10 damage, though, so we're... We're... We're ish. Fine, okay, sort of. Let's go ahead and... Mm, let's just play the, uh... The towel. Just uh, one more card out of hand, because I want to use Karina's focus. I can draw four. Well, there's Embor. Really? I can't play anything from my hand. Okay. I don't have a way to find any extra Pokemon cards. If I did, I could try to find Pignite. This thing, if I could get it going, would tear through these Corviknight Vs. Oh, Corviknight V Max. What do you do? Lustrous Body. Prevent all effects of your opponent's, uh, Pokemon's abilities done to this Pokemon. G-Max Hurricane does 240. You do need a third energy now. You have that third energy now. What are you doing, Bronzor? Sorry, Bronzong. As often as you like in your turn, move a metal energy from one of your Pokemon to another. Alright. Alright. Get up there. <laughs> yeah. I don't quite think this is going to do anything. Let's uh, play out the Solandit, essentially to take a hit. Okay, Sonia. Well, hang on. What's your retreat cost? You do have switch cards, though. Never mind. That's not. I'm thinking of boss's orders. Let's play Sonia and grab some basic fire energies. So if, no, uh, well, if things work out perfectly, which you know they won't, I'm gonna attach an energy next turn. I can Bruno to get, uh, well, even, okay, if something gets knocked out, Bruno gets me seven cards. Oh, I get it. I know why the switches are there, because they can't use the G-Max. What are you doing? You could have, is that once per turn? No, as often as you like. You could have moved the energy, what? Oh, I thought they were both mega. Never mind. Okay, what is your HP? 320. Okay. So often as they like, they can move energy from one to the other. Now, did they play a switch? They did. I'm going to try the boss's orders. Let's get this Bronzong up here. all we can do. So, if they don't have another switch card, then we might somehow be okay-ish? Well, uh, Unknown Spike, what you can do, try going through, like, the versus ladder, because not only will you get a chance to test the deck, but you could also get tokens along the way. So that could be a good, uh, a good way to test your, your changes to the deck. Hmm. Okay, let's put you down for uh, more damage fodder, basically. We'll give this to our Tepig. Let's see what Skyla can find us. Is there anything that lets us find Pokemon? Wait, show play Matt. I almost had a really, really good plan in mind. I mean, it would depend on what I drew next turn, too, so I guess it would be a bit of a risk. But let us... Would this be good? No, i got to find a way to get a Pokemon. I think our best bet is Professor's Research. So let's play the Camping Gear. We have Pig Knight. Okay. That ends the turn. Can we manage to pull some sort of miraculous craziness with what we got? Not if you're going to keep playing, Marnie! Can I please keep the cards that I have been given? Can I draw them back? Wait a minute. 
minute. Okay, I thought the big charm was only for uh, basic Pokemon. <sighs> so we're gonna take a look at the cards of this set. See, I hate that. I hate when the game chooses one player to keep getting everything they need. And the other player, myself, is picking at scraps. That's not a fun match. That's why that match is complete. All right. Now, as the, the final part of this video, we are going to take a look at the new cards and see what kind of strategies can we come up with. So as I said, Weepin' Bell could pair really well with that Salazzle. Because when you evolve Belfort to Weepin' Bell, you got two special conditions on the opposing Pokemon. You can then do 180 damage with that Salazzle. With only, I think it was two energy. Okay, so moving on, we saw Cricketune V. We got the Cherim. There's our buddy Carnivine, which against the CPU did amazing. Spupa can heal itself. Okay. We got these already. So what does Tapu Bulu do? Push down the opposing Pokemon... Or the opponent switches their Pokemon with one of their bench that does 20 damage. Nature's Judgment does 80. You may discard all energy from Tapu Bulu. If so, you do 80 more damage. And what is... Blip Bug. So, is Dotler, Bug, and Psychic? I got a lab coat for the effort. Thank you very much. The lab coat representing the wisdom, the knowledge it takes to realize that match is wasting everybody's time. So yeah, I think Dollar must be part Psychic then. What does Flapple V do? Sour Spit, 20 damage. I'm gonna max this out here. During your opponent's next turn, uh, defending Pokemon's attacks cost double color was more. Nice. And Wing Attack does 120. So what about Flapple V Max? G Max rolling does 250 minus 10 damage for each damage counter on uh, Flapple V Max. All right, what else? We got an Entei here, Heat Dash, 30, and may attach fire energy. I'm not going to read all these cards, I guess. I'm just going to scroll through to the big guys. We got Victini V, the V Bullet, does 10 plus. If the opposing Pokemon is in uh, a Pokemon V, this does 50 more. Flare Shot for 120, only two energy, and discard all energy from Victini V. Victini V Max, spreading flames, attach up to three energy, fire energy from the discard pile to your Pokemon how you like, and Max Victory. There's 100 and 120 more if the opposing Pokemon is a Pokemon V itself. So let's look at, we'll see, uh, take a look at the other, uh, say, Single Strike and Rapid Strikes as well if we see them. Those are, the, of course, the uh, main focuses. Or abilities, I love abilities. Sent to Scorch, Overheater ability says when your opponent flips a coin for their burned Pokemon, it doesn't recover even if it's heads. Sent to Scorch keeps the burn. That's cool. Well, it's actually really hot because it's a burn, but that's useful, let's say. All right, all right. Kingdra's ability, Deep Sea King. When your active Pokemon is uh, knocked out by damage, so when you're active, even if it's not Kingdra, it's knocked out by damage from an attack from the opposing Pokemon, move any amount of its water energy to Kingdra. An Aqua Burst does 40 damage for each water energy attached to it, okay? Uh, what else we got here? The Rapid Strike. So Rapid Strike Octillery. Rapid Strike Search says, once during your turn, search your deck for a Rapid Strike card. So again, that could be a tool, like the, uh, the scroll that we saw, an energy, or a Pokemon. Reveal it and put it into your hand. You can only use one of these abilities per turn. There's three variations of this. Is that, I think that must mean it's in one of the theme decks then. I think with the uh, when the Pokemon itself has a parallel foil to it. Is it called parallel foil in that sense? But when it has that, I think that's because it's from a uh, theme deck. Okay, what else? We got the Empoleon V. So this is the one here, the Emperor's Eyes. As long as it's active, the opposing basic Pokemon with... Uh... No, okay, the opposing basic Pokemon have no abilities, except for those who have the rule box. Okay, so non-rule box basics have no abilities. It sounds cool, but... It's very specific of what it prevents. It has to be a basic Pokemon that is not, or does not have a rule box. What else we got to look at here? Um, okay, um, show of hands in the chat, who out there knew that Jellicent could look like that? That top one I'm talking about. It, I guess, makes sense. They're jelly. It's a bleh. 
but... What's this attack? Sediment sink 10 times each water energy in your discard pile. Imagine having just Jellicent in the deck plus 59 water energy. That would be crazy. Okay, you would need two for the attack. That would be 57 water energy. So that would mean that you can't play that deck because you need at least one basic. So, I don't, you know, you still do something. Has it really been two hours? My Blissey is hungry again. Uh, Unknown Spike says, You wish Noivern to have V and V max. I'm sure they'll eventually get them. Because, you know, they, they're, they're a very powerful Pokemon in the main series. And if we've seen a Cricket or sorry, Cricket Tune V, chances are we will see Noivern V at some point. <laughs> Let's just say that. You know, you wouldn't expect Cricket Tot and Cricket Tune to have anything really amazing. And so Pika says, You like to get some Empoleon V and you had no clue Jellicent looks that weird. I did not either. It's definitely news to me. Hey, there's a Team Rocket outside my house. I gotta see what type they're using. I still need a, a bunch more types of, uh, or a bunch more Pokemon of certain types. Oh, he's got bug types. I'm good. Okay, there's the Rapid Strike Luxury. We already have that. Tapu Coco V! Let's see what you got for me! Electro Ball for 40, Spiral Thunder is 20 plus, 40 more damage for each energy attached to all of your opponent's Pokemon. That's some decent power. Oh, V Max. Hang on, get my Blissey out for some foods. Uh, what does this do? Max Shock for 180. If you have more prize cards remaining than your opponent, the active Pokemon is now paralyzed. Very good. Trying to, trying to even the playing field. Look, Yamper. Yamper. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you can also feed your Blissey a Raspberry. And you may put a Pokeball card, a Great Ball card, or one of each from your discard pile into your hand. Then you can flop 20. I see. Are good with my Blissey. She's all fed for the night. What else we got? We got some more basic folks here. We got uh, we got Meow Stick with ear moves. Can you move your ears, folks? I can't. Once during your turn, you may move a, move a damage counter for one of your Pokemon to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Now, if you had four of these in play, you know there's no limit. Do this once per turn. You can do a four in that sense. I wonder if that could really combine with some other uh, attackers, maybe. It's possible. Okay, what does Mimic QB do? First of all, look at the art. Is that, like, 3D, or is that actually, like, a painting? I can't tell with this. Either way, it looks pretty cool. Dummy Doll, when you play this Pokemon from your hand to your bench during your turn, prevent all damage done to this Mimic QV by attacks from the opposing Pokemon until the end of their next turn. Jealous Eyes, put three damage counters on your opponent's active Pokemon for each prize card they have taken. Interesting. Necrozma V, hello Necrozma. Prismatic Ray does 20 damage plus 20 to two of your opponent's bench Pokemon. And Special Laser does 100. If this Pokemon has any special energy attached, it does 120 more. So yeah, there it is. Dotler is a Psychic type. And there's Orbeetle, which is also a Psychic type. We've got the Single Strike Primate. I love attacks that have apostrophes in their name. First of all, Field Crush, 20 damage. If there's, if the opponent has a stadium in play, discard it. Steam and Mad Strike. This does 50 damage for each of your bench Pokemon that has any damage. So that's where it says, you know, single strike, where it's like a very, like a single attack that does a lot of damage, but you have to sort of set it up in a certain way. All right. I. I guess, other than Steelix, I don't think I've ever seen a Pokemon with a 5 energy requirement in their attack. And look at the- oh, this is brutal! It does 170, but it hits itself for 60. We need to get a- what is that? There was a- way back in, like, Flashfire. Protection Cube! We gotta get a Protection Cube on this guy! Man! Saw the Marowax ability. Uh, what else? I think- we saw from Kelder in play. Thank you, Sailor Pika! Uh, we've got the Rapid Strike Main Xiao. Pound does 20. Spinning Whip does 90. The opposing active Pokemon is now confused, and Main Xiao shuffles away back into the deck. How about the uh, Colossal? What do you do? Coal Cannon. Flip a point for each energy attached to this Pokemon. 90 for each heads. And Wild Tackle for 200, doing 50 to itself. Big Sand Cannon. What about this Phalanx? Rapid Strike. 
A Rapid Strike Squad, 20 times each of your Rapid Strike Pokémon in play. And if you have a whole team of, like, say, six out there, doing 120. Not bad for uh, just two energies. Yeah, I see your emoji there, Sailor Pika. Well played. Uh, Stone Journer, Single Strike Lance Pulse, does 30 plus if there's a stadium, 30 more. Giga Hammer for 120, and I can't Giga Hammer next turn. That's where them switch cards are coming handy, though. So here's the big boys. These are the, uh, the... Are they mythical or legendary, these, uh... Cub Fu slash Urshifu? I ain't, no. Uh, Laser Focus. Search your deck for up to two fighting energy attachment to this Pokemon. So to power up Impact Blow, which does 180. And during the next turn, it can't use Impact Blow. Basically decent there. That's the Urshifu V. So Single Strike Urshifu V Max. Beatdown does 100. G Max, one blow, 270. Discard all energy from this Pokemon, and this isn't affected by, or the damage isn't affected by any effects. So the Rapid Strike Urshifu. Strafe does 30, and you may switch this with a bench Pokemon. A hundred furious blows for three energy does 150. And it's a VMAX. Gale Thrust, 30 plus. If this moved from the bench to the active this turn, 120 more damage. And G Max Rapid Flow. So before we go further, let me think. If you had a switch card and a Pokemon on the bench with no retreat cost, you could switch Urshifu to the bench, free retreat back into it, and it could Gale Thrust for that 150 for one energy. And doing even more, maybe, if it had that special uh, single strike energy attached to it. The G-Max Rapid Flow, discard all energy from this Pokemon, and does 120 to two of the opposing Pokemon. Urshifu is a legendary. Okay. Look, uh, look at the Zubat! I love that! It's like the little crocheted knitted Zubat. That people people give Zubat you know grief all the time, but how can you give grief to something that looks so cute? Look at the Zubat. It can hide in the shadows. Switching. It can speed dive for 20. Little Zubat. I want those Zubat. Alright, and drastic draw from Crobat. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Bulbat, you may draw three cards. Okay. Murkrow, we've got Insomnia from Honchkrow. This Pokemon can't be asleep. Nice. We've seen, thanks to the Sailor Pika, we got the Houndoom that was in play. Single Strike Roar, very useful. And a Single Strike Tyranitar V. Cragalanch does 60. Discard the opponent's top two cards of the deck. Single Strike Crush for 240, but discard the top four cards of your own deck. I mean, if you're doing 240, you might not need whatever those four cards were, so. Look, again, like I said, Steelix. Five energy, you do 200 damage. It's good, but how could you speed that up? You'd want to get more, you know, rapid fire energy on there. The ideal, like I always try to think of, if you have an attack that that costly, what all can you use to boost that even you know, quicker? So that might take a while to get that much energy in play. Uh, we got that metal transfer which we saw from the opponent in the versus ladder. That does, uh, you transfer your metal energies around. How about, uh, Caliburn? What more can you do? Aegis Slash. So, actually, me mentioning Caliburn reminds me, I've been really slack on responding to comments lately. I've just had things on the go. I get home, I'm like, I gotta deal with this. Then it's bedtime, and I'm just like, okay. But, I guess, tonight, I'm gonna try to focus on the new emoji and responding to comments. So, even if... Sometimes when I do that, if it's like the, the comment is like, say, two weeks or older, I probably don't bother going that far back. I just take the hit and say, you know, okay, I just missed out on responding to that. But I'm going to respond to as much as I can in the recent, like, say, couple of weeks or so. Anyway, stance change Aegislash. Once during your turn, switch this Pokemon with an Aegislash in your hand. Any attached cards, damage counters, yada, 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 stays on the new Pokemon. And Full Metal Blade does 210. Discard two metal energy from this Pokemon. The shield form... Gigaton Bash, a 70, during the opposing next turn, prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by VMAX Pokemon. We have the Corviknight, Corviknight VMAX, we saw those as well. There's our Spearow we never found. There's our Lickitung we never found. Uh, we got Glamia we never found. Oh, uh, we got Stoutland V, so what again does this do? Double Dip Fangs does 40. If the opposing Pokemon, if the opponent's basic Pokemon is knocked out by this, ooh, you take an extra prize. You are double dipping, Stoutland. It's like putting your whole mouth right in the prize zone. And Wild Tackle does 20, but does 30 to itself. Got the Drompa, Call for Family, Spiral Rush, and DDD. 
and Kinesis. 10 damage for each energy for each card in your hand. And there's the Cricket Tune. These are all the uh, full arts, it looks like. Some pretty colorful looking full Ooh! Let's, look at this! See, most of the full arts that we see are like the white outline Pokemon, uh, explosive background, and like, they're cool. But they're not really overall that different. It's just the Pokemon. Oh, I didn't even see this one. What the heck is? Hang on. We okay. We missed some stuff. Look at this. I thought okay. I I was I thought Empoleon V was attacking the Phalanx, but I guess okay. These are all Rapid Strike Pokemon, I think. And the Phalanx, its ability, sorry, its attack says how many Rapid Strike Pokemon you have. You do more damage. So, I like how this kind of teams them up together. That's cool. Now, I wonder, so main, uh, main Fu in the background, is it like teaching Empoleon V? Because it looks like, uh, I see that as more of a, a stance that main, like, I can't, there we go. That main Fu will be doing. And I think Empoleon V is trying to learn that. That's a cool looking, uh, cool looking card. Why isn't Phalanx doing that pose though? Come on, man, get with the game. But yeah, look the the looks like the painting kind of artwork. This looks cool. It's different from like I said the white outline and basic solid colors of uh, the, the Pokemon. Very nice. I like that. And there's one there too. Look at this art. I'm normally not one that gets hung up on the art of cards, but since these are full arts that are different than the standard, they stand out. I think that's about it. We got the uh, rainbow ones here. Look at this one. Whoa! Look at that one. Yeah, Sailor Pika likes the Empoleon V card with Phalanx on there too. It's funny, like so. Since I've never played Sword or Shield, I don't have a team from there. But the only Pokemon I know for sure that I would have added, other than the Water Starter, so Sobble. Uh, I don't know why, but I decided I would, regardless of anything, add Phalanx. I don't know why Phalanx is so interesting to me. I just like the thought that it's like six little Kirby's, six little Meta Knights that are just there. What is... That's a Clobopus right by Urshifu's uh, right leg. See that? What other Pokemon are in there? Is that a Cramorant up in the top right? It is. Oh, also on the top left. Look, there's a bunch of Cramorant flying around this thing. What else is on this card? Is that a Pinchurchin down by its leg as well? What's it do? What? It's like, it's attacking all these Pokemon. Oh, and there's a Corviknight right in front. It blended in with the uh, blue of its left leg. Don't quite know what the... Some of these cards kind of have a little bit of lore, let's say. Uh, there was an Inkay and Meowth back in one of the sets that showed Meowth with an attack called Feeling Fine carrying a berry away, but Inkay's in the back. And the Inkay card shows it flying off with a berry and Meowth with ink splatter on its face, like all enraged at it. So I have a, the occasional time when you uh, get cards that relate to each other. Uh, we've got shinies in this set. Shiny Octillery, uh, Super Mega Ultra Chocolate Covered Rare, Gold. Nice, we got the Shiny Houndoom, and that's that. We got a couple Shinies in the set, too. And is that Shiny Corviknight? Could you imagine if it actually was rainbow colored as a Shiny? But these are cool little collectibles. I wonder what they go for in the trades, you know? Probably you could trade a couple of basic energy and get one. Alright, but I guess that's going to be it for our day one coverage of the good old Battle Styles expansion. I could have just gone here. Battle Styles. So, some interesting cards. Like, I'll say, when, it, when they first announced this, they said it was supposed to be like new gameplay styles and stuff. I'm like, oh, really? Because, like, you know, Pokemon TCG has always been you play your cards, you do your trainers, you do your battle or your attack, and then the next turn. So they, they mentioned it was going to be like different styles, and I'm like, how are they going to change that up? You know, so there's, there seems to be no real change that can be done, but who knows what they could think of. 
a whole new way of like maneuvering cards and stuff. And then as it turns out, it's really just, well, you have a trainer card that lets you find a rapid strike card and you use that. So it's like, it's not really a new style of playing the game. It's just a new attribute that interacts with certain other cards. Well, I mean, it's cool, but it's kind of like the, uh, what, would you, what were they called again? The ancient traits, I believe, of like, say, Delta Plus, uh, Aqua, Aqua Growth, I think. So, ancient traits were a new feature. Uh, having the dual type uh, shiny Pokemon from one of the sets, that was a new kind of feature too, and it's like, well, okay. It's cool, it's a new add to the game, but it doesn't really change the gameplay overall. But anyway, it's still a new addition to uh, Pokemon TCG in the online game. So if you have a chance to get yourself some of these Battle Styles cards online or IRL, I hope you enjoy them and come up with some pretty cool ideas on how to make use of them. And definitely as I get some more cards myself, I'm going to see if I can throw together some uh, interesting uh, strategies as well. So that's going to be that. Alright, anyway, thank you folks for hanging out today for day one of the new Battle Styles set. And good luck on your own card hunts. See if you can get yourself some cool strategies thrown together for your own custom battle decks. So thank you to everybody who's hanging out with us here today. And again, for anyone who might be new to the channel, if you enjoyed today's live stream, feel free to click the like button. If you want to uh, subscribe for some more Pokemon content, either the TCG, Pokemon X playthrough, and Pokemon Go currently going right now, feel free to click subscribe and hit that bell button to get your updates when new videos and streams are coming your way here. And you can also feel free to share anything I got on my channel across social media so more people can check it out and see if we can get a bigger audience building up. Who knows? But if you also want to sponsor our channel here and help support my adventures, there's a Pikachu outside. Uh, feel free to click join to see what perks are available for our two tiers set up with the Lab Rats or the Lab Aids. And in addition to what is listed there, as long as supplies last, which will still be quite a little while. I've got code cards here. I'm giving out a code card every month to the Lab Rats and two code cards to the Lab Aids. Alright, I think that covers everything. And Sailor Pika says it's a new way to play the game, so it's still pretty cool. Alright, with that, I think I'm going to do a little bit more research on how these widgets work for subscribing and such. So I think that's been going non-stop this entire time. I have a feeling we didn't get like 8,742 new subscribers through the stream today. But, I guess we'll find out in the future. Alright, have a good evening, folks, and I will catch you... Wait. Where's my window? There it is. Alright, again, thanks and, uh, or thank you. Have a good evening, and I'll catch you next time. Now let's go to our outro, which is still our intro.